think it is working. Uh, hopefully this is working. This is the first time I've used it on my phone. So it says it's live, but I don't see anybody. But uh, I'm going to start with the disclaimer. Oh, there's one. Okay, it's working. So I'm going to start with the disclaimer. Uh, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness class is tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel because become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown. It is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain any injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF98. All right, now that part is done. Good morning. All right, well, afternoon now, officially. Um, so, welcome again to my living room. Um, we have my phone uh, for the live feed today. Jim, who works at Sports Stores, was awesome and gave us uh, some tripods, so I'm trying it out for today. Hopefully this works. Uh, cross my fingers. If not, I have my computer on standby, just in case. But my name is Danielle Davio, and I work for PSP here in King, or not Kingston, Halifax. I don't know where I am. Um, I'm going to invite you to listen to your own music during this uh, and just have a fun time. This is going to be a great day. Um, one thing, too, to get through, there is a contest going on, PSP Live Stream Fitness Challenge. If you're already doing the workouts with us, then you're already half uh, into it. All you have to do is take a picture or a video of yourself doing the workout and enter yourself in to win a TRX. Um, all the information is on PSP Halifax um, Facebook page, so go on there. All the information uh, and the contact details are there. So let's get started. All you're going to need for today is a backpack with some weight in it um, or some weight if you have it. So if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, feel free to do uh, to use those ones. There's a bug flying around me, sorry. Um, feel free to use the weights if you want. Um, I'm going to use the backpack because it does translate over to the sandbag a little bit more because we are doing a force focus class today. Um, but if you want to use, if you have an actual sandbag, you can use that, whatever you feel comfortable with. Also, I'd suggest wearing shoes and wear, uh, have a mat on the ground because we will be on the floor. So let's get right into it. Let's start with our warm up. So coming down onto the ground, hands and knees to start. We're gonna do some cat cows just to open up that spine, get some movement going. So wrists right underneath our shoulders, spreading those fingers nice and wide, pressing into the floor, toes curled, knees underneath our hips. We're gonna start by exhaling, tucking the chin and the spine, or and the, and the hips. I can't think of words today. As we inhale, opening up the chest, tailbone to the sky. Inhale, again, tucking the chin and the pelvis. We're gonna alternate back and forth with this one, just going with your own breath. We just wanna get some movement into that spine to start. Good. Exhale, belly button to spine. Inhale, opening up that chest. One more here. Good. Raising those knees, pressing up to standing. A few more breaths here. We're going to do a few sun salutations. So, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dropping down towards the floor. Forward fold. Inhale as we lengthen and open up. Exhale as we come forward. Let's do one more here. Inhale. Good. Now, everybody's favorite, we're going to do some inchworms to start. So forward fold again, hands down to our mat, knees bent if we need to, and we're just going to inch our hands up towards a high plank, and then pressing the hands back to stand. 
Good, let's do a few of these. Bending the knees if we need to. We just wanna get some movement in those shoulders. We will be doing some push-ups, obviously. Wouldn't be a force class without them. Let's do one more here. And pressing back. Okay, coming to the center of our mat, we're just gonna do a few squats just to open up our hips. So let's get our feet around hip width apart or however you feel comfortable in your squat, sending the hips back, dropping down as low as possible, pressing through midfoot and heel to stand. Good, so I'll come to the side, keeping that chest up nice and tall. Good. You can hang out at the bottom a little bit if you need to, opening up those hips, getting a little bit of mobility in those ankles. Let's do one more here and back up. Good. Coming to the end of our mat or just giving yourself a little bit of space, we're going to do a few monster walks or duck walks. Making sure that our feet are nice and wide, getting down into that quarter squat. We're just taking tiny little steps forward all the way to the end of our mat and then back. So staying in that quarter squat, keeping that chest up nice and tall, not letting it round forward. We're going to do a few more here. Your quads are going to start to burn, but this is only the beginning. Good. Let's do one more forward and back. Stay nice and low. Good. Shake that out a little bit, but we're doing it again. But we're going to go side to side. So feet nice and wide, toes pointed forward. Pretend like you have a magnet in between your feet. That's going the opposite way. So it won't... Oh, hopefully this is still going. I think it stopped, but let's keep going. All right, back into that corner squat, dropping down. We're going to lunge towards the side or just step. Let me know maybe if that's still working. <laughs> Obviously I try my phone for the first time and this is what's gonna happen. Let's keep. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Looks like there's still people here. So I'm hoping it's working. Oh no. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> Always there to help me out. All right, let's shake that one out. We're gonna do a few more arms and then get started just in case something happens. So standing at the top of our mat, we're just gonna lunge backwards. Arms overhead, getting a nice stretch in that back leg of the hip flexor. Good. And again, keeping those arms up nice and tall. Good, just alternating back and forth. If you need to drop down that knee, that's okay. Let's do one more on either side. Good, last one. We're just going to again, inchworm forward. Looks like people are coming back in. Inchworm into that high plank, opening up those hips a little bit again. Taking that left foot, driving that left foot up towards the left hand, dropping the elbow down, arms up towards the sky, and swooping back down, opening up those, that chest to the side of the room. You can drop that back knee if you need to. Let's do one more here. Good, back to high plank. Left leg back, driving that right foot forward. Just as far as we can go. Good. Let's do one more here and up to stand. Good. All right, so grab some water. Let's talk about the actual workout. So, like I said, force focused. All of the movements are going to translate over to the four tasks that you do during the force test. How we're gonna do it is it's going to be an EMOM style. So if you've ever done any of 
Emily's classes, you know that an EMOM is an every minute on the minute. So how we're gonna do this one is we're gonna have three movements to complete in that minute. I know, really quick, but we're gonna get them done. And then in the leftover time, we're gonna do another movement. So three different circuits for this. We're gonna try to get through them twice. Hopefully, everybody cross your fingers, my phone is gonna keep working through this time. So, first three movements, follow along with me so that you're keeping your heart rate up. Obviously, first one is going along with our rushes, so we all know what's gonna happen. We're gonna have three hand release push-ups. So coming down to the ground, wrists right underneath our shoulders. You can do this from the toes or from the knees, but as you see, nothing changes in my position. So if we're doing it from the, the toes, dropping our chest towards the ground, releasing the hands, pressing up for our hand release push-up. We're gonna do three of those, and then straight into 10 mountain climbers. So still staying in that same position, driving the knee up towards the chest for 10 total. From here, we all know some burpees are coming. Dropping down to the ground, coming up, and standing. So you can hop step or jump your way up on the mat, however you feel comfortable. We're gonna do four of those. In the remaining time, we're gonna do a wall set. So this is the only wall I have. We're gonna get nice and low, pressing our feet into the ground, back into the wall, and we're gonna hold this position for the rest of the time. All right, so, Pick whatever modification you might want to do. We're going to get started. Follow along. You'll catch up as we go if you're coming back. All right. So you can see the time a little bit here. Starting with our hand release push-ups. Three, ten, and four. Going in. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four burpees. One, two, three, last one here, and four. Thirty seconds to sit on that wall. If you have some music, you can dance around. That's usually the only way I can get through it. So I'm just gonna have to talk my way through this one. We have less than 20 seconds left, and then we're going back to our hand release push-ups. So this is a four minute EMOM, so it means we're doing it four times. Five seconds, we're back to those hand release push-ups. Three, two, one, back down. One, two, and three, back to the mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the burpees. One, two, three, last one, and four. Thirty seconds on that wall again. If you want to make this a little bit harder. You can hold on to your weight. Good. Think about squeezing the quads, squeezing those glutes, pressing your back into the wall. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Back to our push ups. One. Remember, you can do this. From the feet if you need to. Mountain climbers. You can do this from an elevated position if you need to as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And burpees. Hop, step, or jump. Last one here. Good. Less than 20 seconds on the wall this time. You guys are doing awesome. We only have one more round after this. 
I see some likes, that means you're loving it. Or that means you're not doing it. Only seven seconds left. Keep holding on. Three, two, one. Back to the floor. This is our last time until the second round. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four burpees. Two, three, last one, four, back to the wall. We have 30 more seconds here. And then you get a little rest. How about you, boy? Quads are on fire. I'm already sweating. 13 seconds left. Keep pushing through. Keep going, five seconds. Two, one. Good job, everybody. Grab some water. You're doing awesome. I'm gonna open my window a little bit more. There was people talking outside. They seem to be gone now, though. All right, next round. This is when you're gonna need your bag. Everybody, I hope this is still working. This might happen each one, but we'll try and make it work. All right, so next one, same format, three different movements, and then an extra during the downtime. So first movement, ground to overhead with our weight. So coming back, like we're setting up for a deadlift, hinging our hips back, core is engaged, shoulders back and down, we're taking our weight and we're swinging it up overhead by extending our hips forward. Coming back down and overhead. We're doing five of those straight into a squat. So shoulder holding onto our bag, extending our hips back, pressing our midfoot and heel to stand. Good. Five of those. And then from there, still holding onto our bag, four monster walks. So coming down kind of like our warm up, except we're gonna do back and forth. So keeping those feet apart, stepping to the side, back. That's gonna be four. From there, dropping our bag, we're gonna do skier hops. So pretend like there's an imaginary line on your floor, or if you have one, and we're just hopping on either side of that line for the remainder time. All right? So, oh, this one's good. Keep coming back. Just keep rolling. Thanks, Mary. Always has something great to say for me. All right. So, five ground to overhead, five squats, four monster walks. Remainder time, we're doing our skiers. So, take a last sip of water. We're going for four minutes again. Whew. All right. Let's try to save it. All right, going for four minutes. Let's get ready. Get your bag. Let's start the time, come on. Electronics don't like me. Going in three, two, one, and go. Five. Good. Two, use the hips. Three, four, last one here. Five overhead, grabbing onto our bag, squatting. One, two, Three, chest up nice and tall. Four, and five. Monster walks right here. One, two, three, four. We got 27 seconds of skiers. So hopping from side to side. You can make this exaggerated and do a really big hop or a really small hop. Whatever you feel comfortable with. We got 16 seconds. Good job, keep going. Five seconds. And then we're going back to those ground overhead. And go. Grab it onto your bag. Good, use those hips to drive that bag overhead. 
four, one more here, straight into our squats. One, two, three, four, and five. Over to our mountain, our monster walks. One, two, three, four, and skiers. 20 seconds here. You can make this fast or slow. Good, seven seconds here. You're all doing awesome. If I can get through this, so can you. Three, two, back to that bag. One, two, three, four, last one here, five, straight into our squats, one, two, three, four, five, right into our monsters, one, two, three, four, and back down, skiers, 20 seconds. Thank you all for sticking with me. I now know to just stick with my computer. I miss the old days of doing this with you guys. Four seconds here. Last round. Make it your best. Hinging back, send those hips forward. Two. Three. Four and five. Straight into squats. One, two, three, four, and five. Monster walks. Down nice and low. One, two, three, four. Drop that bag. This is our last time until our next round. Good. So you can make it nice and wide if you want. Work on that balance. Or you can make it nice and short. Make it a little bit more, a little more cardio. Good, five seconds here. Two, one. Whew. Good job, grab some water. We have one more to go through. Then we're gonna take a quick rest. We're gonna do the whole thing again but you already know what's coming, so I don't have to explain it. So, you're doing awesome. Last one. We're gonna do planks, cleans, and reverse lunges. So not clean in the house, we're cleaning with our bag. So, the way I like to position it, it's kind of the long way, just makes it easier, so you don't smack yourself in the face with your bag. I've done it, that's why I'm telling you. So what we're gonna start with is a plank tap. We've done this before with our bag, we're working on anti-rotation here. So you can come from the toes, make a nice wide stance if you need a little bit more support, or you can come from the knees. Either way, I want you to stabilize yourself so that you can tap the bag in front of you. So if we're coming in from the toes, I'm pressing my hands into the mat, I'm engaging my core so that I'm not rotating from side to side. Oh God. I see that it has frozen. Hopefully it is still working. Oh God. Uh, no, no. Oh God. Is this is still going? Oh, it is. Okay. I just can't see myself. See, technology just doesn't like me. Okay. We're still going. We're still going. I just can't see myself the entire time. So from here, we're going to do clean. So we've done four plank taps. We're gonna do a clean so it's similar to our ground to overhead, except we're going to be squatting a little bit more. So taking the bag, squatting down, bringing it up to our shoulder, back down, alternating four of these. Once we do four, we're going straight into some reverse lunges, alternating that, six of those. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> 
We're going to do six of those. In the remaining time, we're going to do bag toe taps. So you can make this nice and quick for the whole time, or you can come down low and again, just tap. Engage all of those lower muscles, the glutes, the quads, get a little bit of a burn. All right, same idea. I'm going to hope that everybody is there. I'll turn it around after this one so that I can at least see myself and make sure it's still working. But going again, four minutes. Starting with those plank taps, going in three, two, one, and go. So one, two, three, four. Coming up to standing, alternating our cleans. One, two, three, four. Going straight into a reverse lunge. One, two, three, four, five. Last one here. And six. Good. Bag toe taps. So you can make this nice and quick. We've got 25 seconds here. Or we can go nice and low. Get a little bit of a burn. Whatever one you want. Good job. Thank you all for sticking with me. Three seconds here. Two, one, back to those planks. One, two, three, four. Good, up, over to our cleans. One, two, three, last one here, four, holding on to that bag. If you need to hold on to something during these lunges, you can. Help you stabilize yourself. Four, two more. Last one here, good. Bed toe taps. Good, 16 seconds. We're about halfway through. Keep going. Three, two, back down to the planks. One, two, three, four. I was gonna go to five, that's not the count. Go into our cleans. One, two, three, four. Going straight into our reverse lunges. One, two, three, four, five. And last one here. Good job, back down. Two, four, five, six, seven, nine, I don't know why I'm counting them. I have a habit of counting them when I do it. Don't know why. I know it's timed. Nine seconds. One more round, and we get a quick little rest. Two, one, back down. One, two, three, four. Coming up to clean. I can at least say clean today. One, two, three. Last one here. One, back into our lunges. Two, three, four, five. And last one here. Good, hopefully you're all with me and I'm not talking to myself. I don't know I'm counting again. Again, you can go nice and low if you want. Or nice and quick. You're gonna get a rest though in 10 seconds. Now we're doing it all again. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, grab some water while I try to fix this. Okay. You're all doing awesome. Oh my God. Can I not turn? Oh, there we go. 
Get a nice close up of my face. So at least I know you're all still here. Okay. And you all know the movements. So we're good for the last round. It's gonna be backwards now though. Sorry. All right. Whew. I mean, you shouldn't be looking at me anyways. You should just be doing the workout, right? All right. So we're starting from the top, doing it all over again. So you don't need to bend for this first one. Remember, if you forgot, we're doing our hand release push-ups, mountain climbers, and our wall sit. Four minutes. Get your last sip of water. We're going to go through all of them again. We have lots of time for that. All right. I need one more set. All right, starting with our hand release push-ups. We're going for three. Going in three seconds. Two, one, and go. One, two, and three. Good, straight into our mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Straight into our burpees, everybody's favorite. Two, three, and four. Good, over to our wall sit. 25 seconds. Remember, if you wanna hold a weight for this, you can. I'm good. 15 seconds. Doing awesome. Seven seconds left. Three, two, one. Back to our push ups. One, two, three. Mountain climbers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straight into our burpees. One, two, Three and four. Back to our wall sit. Good, 25 seconds here. Bad things come in three, so maybe this is just my electronic bad, bad time. Broke my phone over the weekend. First time smashing it in 31 years. It was about time, I guess. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Back to our push ups. One, two, three. Good. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to our burpees. One, two, Three, last one. Get Make a nice little seat. It's like a rest, kind of. 15 seconds. You're all doing amazing. 10 seconds. Three, two, oh, one. Last round. You need to go to your knees for this one so that you keep that form. That's okay. Good. Straight to the mountain climbing. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Burpees. Last time doing burpees until your next class with me. Last one. And back. I don't know what that hand clap was. Oh, last one. 20 seconds. Make it your best seat. You are doing so good. 10 seconds. Three. 
five. And done. Grab some water. We're going into the circuit two. So our ground to overhead, our squats, Come on. our squats and our monster walks. Looks like everyone's still here. Thank you, Tammy. You and Mary always know what to say. All right, last sip of water. We're going back into it. We'll rest when we're done. So get your bag, ground to overhead, squats and monster walks. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four. Remember, pop those hips. Five, straight into our squats. One, two, three, four. Last one, five, good. Monster walks. One, two, three, four. Drop the bag. Go into our skiers. Ooh, I almost stripped over my own foot. You'd think I'd be used to working out in my living room by now. 10 seconds. So again, you can make this as fast or as slow as you'd like. Four seconds, two, one, back to your hinging. Ground to overhead, grabbing onto that bag. One, two, three, four, last one. Five, good job. Grabbing onto that bag, squeezing it nice and tight. One, two, three, four. Last one, and five, one, two, three, four. If you have more room than me, feel free to make those a little bit longer. But I only got a small living room. Ten seconds here. We're halfway. I can't see me, but I know we're all doing great. 
So remember going back to those plank taps, we're cleaning again, and then we're doing reverse lunges, taps to end it out. All right, last sip of water. We get this done, then we're gonna get some stretches in. Two seconds, and go. One, two, three, and four. Hopper step up, getting right into those cleans. One, two, three, and four. Straight into those reverse lunges. So remember, if you need to hold on to something for balance, you can do that. Two more. Last one. Good. Toe taps, back taps. Again, nice and quick if you want, or nice and slow, and nice and low. Whichever one you want. You can alternate back and forth too if you want. Again, this is always your workout. You can do whatever you want. Five seconds here. Two, one, down to the planks. One, two, three, and four. Hop, step, or jump to do your cleans. One, two, three, and four. Straight into our reverse lunges. One, two, three, good. Four, five, last one here, and six. Dropping that bag. Good job. Keep it up. Keep going, you're doing awesome. 10 seconds left. Two, one, back to those planks. I always forgot what I was doing. One, two, three, four. Hop, step, or jump. Get into those cleans. We're halfway. Two, three, four, straight into those reverse lunges. One, two, three, four, five, last one, and six. Good job. Get a good sweat. Toe taps to end it off. 20 seconds here. Ten seconds. Almost done. One more round and then we get to cool down. Three, two, back to the ground. One, two, three, and four. Good job. One, two, three. Last one here. Four, six reverse lunges. Last set. This is four. Last one here. Good. Toe taps for 25 seconds. You're all doing awesome. Whew. Good thing I opened that window a bit more. 10 seconds left, keep pushing, and we're gonna do a nice stretch. Three, two, one, and we're done. Good job, everybody. Thank you all for making through the glitchiest live feed ever. We made it through. Oh, my hair looks fantastic. We still got tons of people here, so we're good. Grab some water, let your heart rate come down a little bit. We're gonna do some stretches to end things off. Whew. Whew. All right, you can still see the floor. Ah, all right. Let's come down to the floor and let our heart rate come down 
a little bit more. If you need to kind of walk around a bit before you come and join us, that's okay. Do whatever feels great for you. We're gonna start on the ground with child's pose. So I like to put my toes together, knees nice spread out. Just getting as close to the ground as we can. Hopefully you can still hear me from down here. We just wanna work on stretching up that low back a little bit, opening up those hips. Did a lot of squatting, a lot of hinging. Start slowing down your breath. Nice deep inhales through your nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Keep your head down towards the ground, not like me. I just wanna make sure you can hear me. From here, we're going to press into our hands, pressing our hips up into the sky into a down dog. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay. But think about staying active here, pushing your shoulders away from you, not letting your chest sink towards the ground. Good, from here, lifting that left leg, sending that knee forward, and getting it a little bit perpendicular with the front of your mat. We're gonna go into a pigeon. So if you need to keep your heel in towards your inner thigh a little bit more, that's okay. If you need to put a pillow underneath your hip as well, that is fine. We just wanna open up the hip a little bit, get a nice stretch, but we wanna keep our chest square with our hips. So from here, you can stay up nice and tall, or you can come down. But we're gonna to wanna to try to keep our neck in line with our spine for this. With each breath, try to sink a little bit deeper. Good. Pressing up. We are going to swing around. It's gonna be easier for you. I'm gonna just turn. My couch is in the way. But we're gonna to go to a seated tree position. So left foot is gonna be butted up against the right inner thigh. We're going to square our hips with our foot in front of us, toe towards our shin. As we inhale, coming nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold as far as we can. Fingertips light on the ground. We just wanna get a nice little stretch in that low back again. Just moving to whatever feels comfortable for you. Don't force any of the movements. Good. Next, inhale, coming up to standing, or to seated, sorry, we're not standing yet. <laughs> Taking that left foot, bringing it around the right, and we're just gonna get a nice little twist. So just as far as you can. Good. From here, unfolding, coming back to down dog. So swinging it around however you feel comfortable doing so. Pressing up through those hands, extending the hips nice and high. I'm gonna have to move over a bit. And again, lifting that right leg now. We gotta do the other side. Sending it forward, going into pigeon pose. Again, keeping our chest square with our hips. If you need to put a pillow underneath that right hip to keep yourself from opening up, that's okay. And again, you can stay nice and tall or you can fold over. Again, with each breath, trying to lengthen a little bit more, opening up that hip a bit more each breath. Pressing our hands up. Again, unfolding from this. Left leg forward, right foot butted up against that left inner thigh. Squaring up our chest with our foot in front of us, toe towards the shin. Inhaling nice and tall as we exhale forward fold. 
fingertips laid on the floor, just going as far as we can. Good. One more inhale here and exhale. Inhaling to sitting, sitting tall. And again, we're going to bring that right foot over our left leg and getting a nice little twist. Good, I'm twisting from that. Both legs forward, shake it out a little bit. Bringing our feet to the ground, we're just gonna windshield wipe those hips a little bit. So we've gone over a little bit of time. Thank you all for sticking around. Sorry for all the glitches. I will stick to what I know works, which is my computer. Watch, I'm jinxing myself now for the next one. But hopefully it'll work. And again, don't forget about the contest. Make sure you submit your entries because winning a TRX would be awesome. Like Mary said, that is one of the best pieces of equipment that you could get for uh, being at home. All right, so thank you all for joining and have a great day.